I sure hope the builders have time to finish putting the roof on, but I guess I won't worry about that right now. The name of this game is A Day Without Me. So, good night. What the heck? Howdy folks, and welcome to Bean Farm Gaming. And this is our review of A Day Without Me. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by Gamecom, Gamecom Team. Mm. And published by those rascals over Chili at... Chili Dog Interactive! <gasps> the game released September 10th on the Xbox console for the price of $4.99. This week's game is an interesting look into an unexplained and open world with a lot of closed doors. A Day Without Me puts you in the shoes of a kid who just woke up and discovers that you're the only person left in the city. Well, I'm willing to bet that this idea is probably really appealing to most of us gamers, because after this last year of COVID restrictions, the idea of having free roam of an entire city sounds pretty appealing. That is, until you go outside and discover overturned vehicles and pools of blood. <laughs> uh, things are definitely not all good in this hood. A Day Without Me is an adventure game with a few puzzles thrown in. It won't be very long before you find yourself running for your life from supernatural oddities. The game isn't going to win any awards for outstanding graphical fidelity or an orchestrated soundtrack, that's for sure. I added the background soundtrack from Stream Beats just to set the mood. So you can put those new Atmos headphones back into the box for this one. The overall gameplay is competent if you can get past your character's slow ass movement style. You can hold down the RB button to sprint, but it just seems like a band-aid for a uh, missing limb. The game definitely is a cheap and fast completion, rolling in at about 20 minutes following a guide. What in the tarnation? Now who would be dumb enough to make a guide for this game? Yay! Cheetah's Guides! I love it! I'll put a link to his guide right up here. And following Cheetah's guide, he runs through the whole game in 17 minutes. Without his guide, I probably would have wandered my way around the world looking for Easter eggs and secrets that aren't there. And I imagine I'd probably eventually end up with the completion, but it would take me an hour or two. A Day Without Me is a short, solid walk through a fairly bland environment and it does seem to have a bit of modern charm to it. There are a few action sequences where you run for your life from the flaming demons, but for the most part, the game is a fairly relaxed puzzle and exploration game. I won't lie to you, the game is a fairly bland environment and has you just kind of running around directionless without a lot of uh, direction. Which I guess is a big part of exploration games, is exploring, but I don't know, at least point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose this could have been intentional, as the kid is trying to figure out what happened to everyone in his city. The handful of puzzles that you are given are fairly straightforward, and the enemies are all very predictable. The overall game just felt like it was pushed out the door and really would have benefited from just a little bit more polish. Uh, branching environments, I don't know, maybe some chests, items, NPCs, make it, I don't know, more of an adventure game? Maybe I'm just asking too much for my five bucks. It's a nice distraction from the craziness outside my house right now. So, Chili Dog, you can have my five bucks, and I'll take the thousand G with a short evening on the couch, leaving one bean behind with four beans out of five.
Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the truck. We recently accepted a partnership with a new farmhand. Yeah! Bring you some additional looks at new and unreleased Steam and PC gaming. Uh, are there any games you'd like to see us cover? Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Drama. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog.